Hey guys, it's Kevin again, and uh, this is going to be another one of those Tony Award nomination uh, videos that I do. Um, this was a CD that I was going to review last week, but I put it off for a little bit because I actually didn't finish the soundtrack till recently, and I'm going to explain why. First of all, I'm just going to say that this is my review. Well, obviously you guys know because you look at the title, but uh, this is my review for the uh, Bridges of Madison County. Um, that's the album I'm going to be reviewing. Um, and this is fifth time trying to record it. Yes, it is. Thank you, Kaden. Um, You're welcome. That was Kaden. That was the kid of awesome. Follow him on YouTube. Yay! Subscribe to him. I mean, whatever you call it. Um, okay. Um, let me just explain with this soundtrack. The first time I heard it, I did not love it. I didn't, and I was kind of disappointed. I'm like, why did I get this? Probably because I was just like obsessed with the musical Big Fish. Uh, it was really hoping that it would be better than Big Fish, which of course it wasn't because I don't think anything can be Big Fish. Big Fish is just Big Fish. It's amazing. Why did Big Fish not get a fucking nomination? I don't know. I'm going to, I, I'm so upset that Big Fish did not get a nomination. Um, probably one of my favorite musicals, definitely, but this was not as good as that, and I got kind of disappointed. But then I decided, you know what, I need to finish this soundtrack. I need to listen to the rest of it to see if it gets better. And it turns out that now I love this soundtrack. I really do. I think this is a much better, um, I think it was much better the second time I listened to it, and I really, really do enjoy it now. So let's just get to it. The basic story of Bridge to Madison County, before I talk about the soundtrack, is the, basically the basic story you have to do with uh, Francesca Johnson. She is a, an Italian-American housewife. She lives in Iowa, and, uh, you know, she has a husband, Bud, who their their relationship is not that strong, I've heard. You know, I've never actually seen the musical. I don't really know much about it, but um, she meets this photographer, Robert Kincaid, who uh, she he comes to photograph uh, cover bridges in the area, and she meets up with Robert, and they start, like, an affair, but it turns out, and but she, you know, is trying to figure out, do, do I want more than this? You know, do I want to turn into more of an affair? And that's basically the musical. Um, but at the same time, she she's also died, so her kids are just starting to find out about this, so it also shows her kids' reactions to this, so uh, that's kind of interesting as well. Um, let's just get to the songs, though. The first song we have is To Build a Home. Oh my god, play. There we go. Uh, let me just say that this is a great song. The first time I heard it, I was like, this is boring, I do not like it. But then as the song picked up, I really started to enjoy it a lot. And I really do love this song because, one, it's Kelly O'Hara. She's amazing. I mean, you, you all have to agree with me. Kelly O'Hara is arguably one of the best Broadway singers around right now. I mean, everything she does is amazing. And I heard most people say this was her best role, which... I think it kind of is her best role. I think she definitely does a great job on it. And this is a great way to start off the musical because it shows, hey, Kelly O'Hara, this is her talent. She's amazing. And if you don't believe me, here she is. And I think that's great to show off her talent. So definitely To Build a Home is a great song. It really picks up at the end. Even if it starts off a little bit boring, it really picks up in the end, especially when she does that belt because, you know, she has that famous Kelly O'Hara belt. So, yeah, that's To Build a Home. Um, the next song is Home Before You Know It, uh, which is sung by, um, you know, her husband in the show, Bud, and their kids, and here it is. You know there's room for you to come, although I take it back, there's not. We got the cow, we got the kids, and then the tent, which I forgot. Um, overall, you know, this song, it's not my favorite or anything, but I do really enjoy this song. I, I like, I like the way this song goes, and that's all I really have to say. The next song, though, this one I really love. It's when uh, Robert Kincaid's introduced, um, you know, Stephen Pascal, uh, the, and it's, it, the song is called Temporarily Lost. I personally love this song because, in my opinion, when I first heard this song, the first thing I thought was, wow, he's the best singer in this entire... I mean, Kelly O'Hara is great, but I'm just thinking, wow, he really is talented. And he really is. It's a great way to get introduced to his character because this is a guy who I've never heard of. I've never heard of Cian Pascal. I wish I had because he really is amazing. I mean, seriously, he really is fantastic. And 
I think he has a great voice, and I love him on this song. I, I love his um voice on this song. So, yeah, that's Temporary Loss. I think it's a great song. It's definitely one of my favorites of, you know, the musical. It's a great way to get introduced to his character. Um, the next song is What Do You Call a Man Like That? And uh, it's... Here we go. Uh, this is not my favorite or anything, but I do enjoy because, of course, it's Kelly O'Hara. She does a great job on it. And I definitely really do enjoy this song. I think it's a good song overall. I really do enjoy it. The next song, though, when I first heard the soundtrack, as I said, I was bored by it. However, the one song that I love from it that I kept listening to over and over again was You're Never Alone. I love this song. I thought it was a great song. It's actually the first group song because, you know, Home Before You Know It really is like um, just a trio really type of song. Um... This song really is, though, all of them singing it, so, um, it's Here's Your Number, You're Never Alone, I, I love this song personally, it, it's just fantastic. Turn the pressure on and the lace ride down, so the hospital took off and it's on, I know it ain't easy, this is a long road, nothing is easy out there on your own, but... And I still love this song. I love the way they do this whole song. It's like basically the entire cast, and I think it's a fantastic song. Definitely one of my favorites in the entire cast, um, in the entire CD. I mean, entire soundtrack. It's a fantastic song, and I really do enjoy it. So that's your Never Alone. Whoops, I hit something. Um, the next song is another song that I really, really liked. I didn't listen to it as much at first, but now I really do love it. It's called Another Life. Now. This is a really great song because it's actually the song from Robert's ex-wife. That's that's who sings it. It's his ex-wife that sings it. It's actually a character that I heard was not in the movie, which I haven't seen the movie because I really don't give a shit. Um, but, you know, um, the movie I heard was like really, you know, she was not in the movie. They added her specifically for this musical. She has this really beautiful song called Another Life. It's a great song. I personally love this song. It's one of my favorites by far. Because the thing is, she's only really... This, this singer's really... The character is only in it for this one scene. But it's such a powerful scene because it shows, you know, this is um, this was his wife and, you know, this was the you know what she thought of him and everything. I think it's a fantastic song. It's one of my favorites in the entire musical and I love it. I, at first it was just like, eh, it's okay, but now I really do love it, so... Um, yeah, that, that's, um, that's Another Life. It's a fantastic song. And by the way, Winnie Bashor is amazing. She really is amazing, and I think she really is, she's really amazing. Um, the next one is, um, Wondering, another song that Robert sings. So, Wondering. It's another really great song um, from um, Stephen Pascal. He does another really great job on this song, so I definitely really enjoy it, and that's Wondering. The next song. As I said, when I first heard this soundtrack, there were only a couple songs that really attracted me um, that I want to listen to over and over again, because that's what I think of when I hear Broadway soundtracks is replay value. Will I look back at this um, you know, cast album and listen to it again? Um, that's how it's memorable to me, is replay value. And this next song really does have that replay value, and it's it's called Look At Me. It's, it, it really has a great um, beat to it. I really enjoy this song, and here it is. starts to blow and then what do you know something's different i can't quite explain yeah, I really do enjoy this song. As I as I said, you know, I really love this song. It still is one of my favorites from this musical. I still think it's a fantastic song, and I really do enjoy it. Um, so because of it being so fantastic and everything, Look At Me is definitely one of my favorites. I really do enjoy this one a lot, and I think it's a, a really great song. So, yeah, Look At Me is fantastic, and I love that one. Uh, the next one is The World Inside a Frame. Um, it's another song. It's another solo from um, Robert and... Yeah. Oh, you thought it was a bridge. You thought it was the water. 
You thought it was the sky. This one I really like. It's basically about him talking about, like, photography and art and things like that. Basically talking about love, but he's talking about art as well. And I think it's kind of cool the way they do that one. You know, it's not my favorite or anything, but I do enjoy this song. Um, you know, World Inside a Frame, I really do enjoy it. Um, the next one is actually a solo from, um, you know, uh, Hunter Foster, who, by the way, he does, as I said, he plays Bud in the show. Hunter Foster, I have heard of him before. Yes, he is Sun Foster's brother. Um... Also, speaking of that, you know, he was also in um, Hands on a Hard Body, which I really enjoyed that soundtrack. That came out after Tony's season, so that's why I didn't review that one to you. But I really enjoyed Hands on a Hard Body, and I think he did a great job on this song. It's called Something from a Dream. And to me, she looks like yeah, Hunter Foster, I think, has a great voice. I really do enjoy him on this song, and I think he's fantastic on this song, so... Yeah, I, I really enjoy this song a lot, and, uh, so that's something from a dream. Um, the next song, the next song is, um, the, uh, is probably the weirdest song in this musical. For whatever reason, I don't like this song. I don't know what it is. Get Closer. It's where I've been heading. I've had so many dreams that you never knew. This song feels completely out of place with the show. It feels too much like a 50s song. This is supposed to take place in the 80s, and it feels too much like a, uh, a 50s... a 50s song. I, I don't know what it is or whatever, but I just don't like this song for whatever reason. Um, But yeah, Get Closer, probably my least favorite song from this musical. I just don't really like it. Um, But yeah. The next song is the Act 1 finale, you know, the big Act 1 finale that really sets the tone for the show. Um, you know, that really sets the tone for Act 2, and that Act 1 finale is Falling Into You. All my life I have been falling, I have been falling into you. I think it's a great Act 1 finale. It's definitely one of their best duets. Not their best duet, I will get to their best duet in a second. I'm sure you guys know what that is. Um, but... You know, I think it's a fantastic duet from the two of them. It's a great way to end Act 1. It really sets the tone for Act 2. And it really just shows that their relationship, their little affair, is heading more into a relationship. And it definitely is much deeper than your typical affair. It's not just, have sex, that's it. Have sex, that's it. That's not what it is. It's definitely more than that. And um, I think it's great about that song. The next song is probably the most fun of the songs in the show. And that is State Road 21. This isn't really a show, a show for fun songs, and this is the only fun song in the show. Sing it with me! Oh, this is a duet from uh, Carolyn and Michael. Those are her two kids, and they're singing this song. I don't really know what it's about, but it's a great way to start off Act 2. As I said, it's the only fun song in the show. Again, it's this is not a musical for fun songs, and I think it's a fantastic song, though, and I really do enjoy it. It's a great way to start off Act 2. It really pumps you up. Basically, it's like, all right, Act 2, here we go. Um, and it really just pumps you up for that. So I think because of that, um, I think that's why I really do enjoy this song. Um, so yeah, that's State Road 21. The next song is Who We Are and Who We Want to Be. This song is kind of them thinking about their, um, you know, relationship and thinking, is this really right for us to do? You know, does it really work? Is it really working for us? And I really enjoy this song overall. It's probably my least favorite of their duets, just because I have so many other great duets after this. Um, but I still really do enjoy this song, and I think it's a good song. So who we are and who we want to be, I do really enjoy it. The next song, this is by far my favorite of Kelly O'Hara's um, songs that she sings, and that's Almost Real. This is really her thing about her relationship with Robert, and I think it's a great song. Almost like an 11 o'clock number, but it's really early in the show. So I do really enjoy this song, and I think she does a great job on this song, definitely. I really do enjoy it. Um, almost real. By far my favorite of her solos. Um, 
Now, the next song really leads into the next song. The first one is Before and After You. It's two duets that Robert and uh, Francesca have. The first one is Before and After You. Christ. I think this is a great way to set the tone for the next song, um, but the next song by far, you know, I love Before and After You, but the next song by far is the best song in this entire musical. I'm sure you guys know what it is. It's, they always play it when they're showing promos for this song, when they show, like, um, ads for this song, or they show, like, they want to advertise the show. This is the song they always play, and they definitely deserve to do that because it's the best song in the show. One second in a million miles. I am risking something. No, let me just, let me get to the good part of the song. Let me just say that this was the song that pulled me back into um, the soundtrack. You know, as I said, the first time I listened to it, I wasn't the hugest fan of it. This song pulled me right back in because I'm like, this is an amazing song. And I, I mean, oh my god, this song just... It's amazing. I mean, between Kelly O'Hara's voice and his voice, they sound so great on this song. It is by far their best duet. The best song of the musical as well, because it really just... Sh it's six minutes long, but it goes by so fast, and it's such a great song. It's definitely my favorite on the soundtrack, and I just... I absolutely love this song. One Second a Million Miles, I love this song so much. It's so, so good. Um, definitely is the one they should show on all the ads and things like that, because it's fantastic. Um... The next song is a little bit different from the others. It's it's Hunter Foster, and uh, I think it's another couple, because I know there are three couples in the show, and uh, it's called When I'm Gone. Come what may, when I'm with my Lord in heaven, I'll look down at this place when I crossed over. Um, overall, this song, I enjoy it. It's not my favorite, but I like the way they do this song. It's very, like, country, sort of, but I do enjoy it. And it definitely sounds kind of like they're singing a bar, kind of singing this. That's what I feel like this song is. I don't, I know, I think, I'm probably wrong, but, because I haven't seen the show personally, but I think it is a really good song. I definitely really do enjoy it. Um, and the last two songs, the first one is a duet, um, from Robert called It All Fades Away. I was burning in the sun. I was crying with amazement at the view. I was capturing... This is by far his best song in the entire show, like his best solo, because it really is just him talking about how he met her and things like that. And it, it really is a great song. And I, he's basically talking about how they've come so far and everything, and I really do like that. Now, the last song really is bittersweet. It's basically her realizing this is not going to work out. And it's the last song. It's called It's Always Better. And in a way, that would be better. Basically, you know, what this musical shows is that she has hid this affair from everyone, and they're only finding it out after she died, and she hid it from everyone. So it definitely is really, really interesting that. But those are all the songs. Always Better is a great way to close it, but I, I definitely think it's a very good way to close it. Very calm way to close it, not really big. Most times finales are really big. Um, so... You know, it's definitely a very calm type of show, I will say that. Let me just say that the the one thing, the two things that this um, musical did get nominated for was Kelly O'Hara, of course, got nominated for Best Actress, which she definitely deserves. She is fantastic in this show. I love all the songs she sings, and this is by far her best role. Um, I'm sure, I'm, you can say whatever you want, but this is by far her best role. I think so, definitely. Um, best role by far. Um, but the other thing that I need to say is that this did get nominated for Best Score, and it definitely does deserve that as well, because it has a fantastic score, um, and I definitely do enjoy that. Now, I was surprised this didn't get nominated for Best Musical, because I thought it would be, but it didn't. And Stephen Pascal, I think he definitely should have been nominated for Best Actor, but I think it was just because they couldn't fit him in, because there were so many other actors that got nominated that did deserve it, in my opinion. Um, but I definitely think he does a great job in this um, cast recording, so... Overall, I really enjoyed this cast recording. I was surprised that I enjoyed it as much as I did the second time I listened to it, because I didn't like it the first time, as I said. But overall, I definitely enjoy this cast recording. I recommend you guys get it. Um, and I think that's pretty much it for all I have to say. So, yeah, that's basically it for this um, review of The Bridges of Madison County. Um, you know, I really enjoyed this uh, soundtrack overall. The next one will be for Violet, which does come out on Tuesday. Well, iTunes-wise, that is. Um... But it does come out Tuesday, and I will be reviewing that cast recording to you. So definitely look forward to that. 
That's it for my review. Hope you enjoy it. My next review will be for Orphan Black, which comes on in a, in a few minutes. So I'll see you guys for that. Bye.